Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, bringing you what is possibly my best solo gameplay in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, it's not the fastest solo chem I've ever gotten, and um, it's not the most solo chems I've ever gotten in one game or anything like that, but what I think puts this gameplay on another level of solo gameplay is that look at the freaking weapon. It's a TAC-12 shotgun. Now, I rarely use a TAC-12, as a matter of fact. I have never used it before, and... I rarely use shotguns ever, you know, I rarely use the Remington, which was like the go-to shotgun back in Black Ops 2, and um, I haven't really used the Bulldog too much in this game, you know, I'll pull it out every once in a while uh, when I feel like being a, a D-bag, but, you know, my shotgun experience in Call of Duty is extremely, extremely small, so the fact that I was able to, just in one night, this gameplay probably, I went for it about two hours before I was able to get this gameplay and it is a three minute chem strike with the tech with the tech 12 shotgun and um, I think it's pretty sweet just because it is in drop zone now drop zone's a little weird you know I never played drop zone before I never played it modern for three anything like that and I tried going for this chem strike in a few different game types at first I tried free for all which really was kind of kind of weird because you're on your own you know the game is pretty fast paced considering you're competing with what normally feels like one other person to win the game and um so it's pretty hard to get in free for all because if you don't get it or don't go on a big streak within like the first five kills, you can't get the chem because it only goes to 30 kills until the game's over. And then I go into team deathmatch, which is pretty much the same thing because it only goes to 75 kills and you really have to hurry and you're pretty much competing with your teammates because you need t bad enemies and you need bad teammates, so your teammates don't take all the kills and end the game. So, I didn't really think I'd be able to get this in Blitz, just because that's a little too fast-paced for using a weapon that I'm not entirely comfortable with. And Domination, you know, I don't know spawn to Domination at all. I'd be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So, I decided on some Drop Zone, even though I had no idea what it was. And uh, first time playing Drop Zone, I was able to get the map Strike Zone. And Strike Zone is always a good thing whenever you're using the, the shotgun. And I was able to run around... And from what I found in drop zone is there isn't really a particular spawn. And it's kind of like hard point. You can pretty much spawn anywhere around the map that isn't on the drop zone or the hard point. And, um, you know, so as long as you're able to navigate that map and kind of make that map your bitch. And you're able to come up behind the enemies and kind of figure out where they are. You know, you are able to get a lot of like three pieces or two pieces or even four pieces if you're lucky enough. Which kind of really can speed up that that chem streak and make it go a little bit faster so drop zone is a fantastic game type um you know i highly recommend it if you're like a big into rushing and running around and whatnot drop zone can be your friend then uh, i think i'm gonna go try and go for some double km strikes with attack 12 but that's gonna be a little difficult because so many things have to go right in order to get a great solo gameplay and you know the enemy team obviously has to be bad you know that's true for any gameplay solo or not but your teammates also have to be pretty bad and not bad in the sense that they're completely getting destroyed by the other team but they have to be just good where they're all able to go even or a little bit negative but at the same time just completely ignore the objective you know and or not completely ignore but play it just enough to be able to win the game but you know not end the game without the full 10 minutes running out so there's a lot of things that contribute to it um that is about it for this video guys the chem strike streak chem strike streak is coming to an end i do hope you guys enjoyed please click that like button it really does help me out big big time hope you guys did enjoy this video episode one of i play your world it should be coming out within the next few days um i'm not sure entirely sure what class i'm gonna i'm gonna do for that yet but it should be a pretty good one i can promise you guys that please leave a like if you guys did enjoy drop a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this chem strike or not subscribe if you guys are new and have a fantastic day everybody i am out.